bright and early. I was just about to check our fine associates here into the blue moon before heading to City Hall for the big summit meeting. Hi. Hello. Greetings. They're all quite excited to meet with you and everyone else, but we need to take care of a bit of business first. In the meantime, why don't you check around town? We have speakers in Marble Square and on both of the blue moon stages all day covering a variety of topics. I sent to everyone an event schedule by mail. Check your mailbox if you haven't already. I'm a bit miffed myself, having to miss out on Moose's talk about money management. <sighs> but perhaps you can fill me in. Later on in the evening, we'll finish our summit and all head over to Luna's performance on the Blue Moon stage, followed by a fireworks show. Then tomorrow, we'll announce the results of the summit, followed by a huge banquet in the Blue Moon to celebrate. Rounding it all off with the maiden voyage of our airship on the morning after. Mayor Trudy, daylight's wasting. Shall we? Uh, just a moment. I need to meet with... Hello, Sandrock! Miss Luna! So wonderful to finally make your acquaintance. The pleasure's all mine, ma'am. Where shall I put my things? Uh, what is all of that? Only the essentials, Miss Mayor. Makeup, wardrobe, microphones, cables, pyrotechnics. But don't worry, my delightful roadies are here to take care of everything. They're the best. Say hi, guys! Yo! Hiya! Oh, uh, hello? Well, if you're sure you've got it, I'm sure Owen can make room somewhere in the blue moon. Please, Miss Mayor, we're professionals! You just sit back, relax, and leave the entertainment to us. Yes, yes, of course. Thank you, Miss Luna. I'll just go with our other guest then. About time. See you after the summit. And enjoy yourself. You've earned it. Hey, hi, I'm Luna. Oh, I know who you are. You're one of the heroes of Sandrock. You know my brother, right? Seen him around at least, right? Pen in hand, those always buried in a book. He's supposed to be here as a matter of fact. Luna! There you are. There's my big brother. What happened? You said you were just coming for a visit and now you live here? Well, you know me. I change my mind about as often as you change your hair color. Oh, come on. I change my hair way more. No, I miss you so much. I missed you too. Right. Is everything okay at home? Home? I haven't been back in a long time. I've been doing shows down south lately. But I read in the newspaper that Ma won another singing award and Pa's newspaper is getting bigger. I love it here. Everywhere is sand and cactus. It's just so wildernessy. And you, Ernie, is everything okay here? <laughs> yes, I kind of felt the same way. But it's rare to hear that from you. Everything is good for me here. I've made a lot of friends and even gotten more inspiration. I've just been talking with your friend here. So this is the five-star builder you told me about? That's right. My friend is now famous throughout the whole alliance. I'll say. And hmm, Sandrock is also becoming more and more famous within the alliance. I'll have to book more shows here in the future. So, you're headlining the summit? I'm looking forward to it. Let's see if you'll make the same mistake as last time and sing the wrong lyrics like you did at Atara Fest. You... There's no way I'd make the same mistake twice. Just wait. I'll give the most perfect... 
perfect performance of my life in Sandrock. Sorry, I have to go rehearse now. Nice to meet you. Bye-bye. I'd better help my sister out. Enjoy the summit.
planting trees without permission? Well, the free lines now. If a duck ever steals your fish before you run and get your shotgun out, that oh, lady is up they there. They should put your pig well. I don't. They want it up to be the opening act for Luna. Thanks, it's a sand rocker. Excelsior! <laughs> Never have I pitied. Uh, I'd write him to rub it in it. Ah, let's not wait. Thanks! Uh Smile, Avery. I know you'd rather be back at headquarters, but everyone's here to welcome us. If only General Ling hadn't insisted that I join the summit. Hey, you've been to San Rock before. I'm sure you're missed here. Ah, glad to see you again, Builder. This is my colleague, Mr. Gowdy. You must be the Builder everyone's been talking about. The pleasure is all mine. I can't wait to see what you've accomplished in San Rock. Mr. Gowdy is our chief engineering consultant, a very capable builder himself. He's working with us on the planning of the North Development Plan at the borders. We're lucky to have his help. I'm sure you'll have a lot to discuss. Yes. And here's Avery, trying to shrug me off and secretly plot. I only have the safety of the Alliance in mind. I often have to remind this guy that the whole point of the development plan is to keep the peace for as long and as wide as possible. That's why we're focused on bringing in talented people and resources to those areas. While everything is in the early stages, it presents a fantastic opportunity for someone like you to become a settlement governor if you join the plan. They oversee the design and development of an entire town, going beyond the limits of a workshop yard. Absolutely. It's hard work, but in an exciting way. I'm looking forward to sharing our progress with other representatives at the summit and getting their input on our next steps. Or we could discuss with the reps of the possibility of forming a fast response plan in case Duvos ever plots another move. In any case, it was good seeing you again. And an honor to meet you as well. I'm sure we'll see plenty more of each other tomorrow at the banquet. Till then. Strangest feeling, like we'd met before. But that's impossible, right? In any case, we in Portia have heard all about you. Let's catch up after the summit is finished, and we can all relax. Ah, the excellent builder of Sandrock. You are a fine reminder to us tall sky builders not to rest on our laurels. We'll have to talk shop when we all get a moment. Hope you'll think about my offer. And hey, if you're ever in town, just look me up. I'm sure we can work something out. You'll have fun, I promise. From your resume, you definitely have what it takes to be a governor in the North. Ah, you must be the builder. Greetings. I have been told you fought bravely every step of the way. I hope to sit down and exchange war stories after this meeting has concluded. Well, I'm certainly glad you all managed to change my mind about this place. I stand by my original assessment. Most of the folks around here are, let's say, unconventional. But you all got the job done and then some. There's one thing I was always curious about. How exactly did you all manage to... <laughs> you know what? Sometimes it's better not to know how the sausage is made. You know, I really wouldn't mind sitting in on a fashion seminar hosted by Mr. Pablo. Oh, it's good to see you again. You've made us all very proud. I've been told your parents are coming to visit tomorrow. You must be so excited. Even air travel takes it out of you, doesn't it? All I did was sit there and somehow I'm exhausted. 
You must be the builder. Once this summit is over, I'd love to get more acquainted. Ah, you're the builder who famously managed to work with Chi without throwing him out of a five-story window. You must be every bit as good as they say you are. Let's chat more at the banquet. Is this really a sand rock? Wow, it's nothing like how I remember it. I wasn't thrilled to be traveling so far for the summer this year, but now I can see it was worth it. Mr. Musa. You're that young man. I remember now our previous conversation. In fact, I wanted to congratulate you. Congratulate me? Yes, obviously you took all my words to heart. Not long ago, your general store appeared on the first page of my assistant's Emerging Businesses Hotter Knowledge. You, as it were, <laughs> were hot. This indicates that, by various measures, your store is performing well, and your market share is steadily rising. That's right, Mr. Musa. After that, I did everything you suggested, and I started to try to have more foresight. And, I guess you could say, it worked like a charm. So, thanks. No, young man. You should thank yourself. I see the changes in you, and no man is an island. I don't doubt that there are more people in your life other than myself who pushed you to be better than you. Yes! The Builder has also helped me a lot. <laughs> Indeed. The impact builders can make on this world is huge. I believe that with young people like you and Sam, development can only get better and better. Thank you, Mr. Musa. Uh, so, will you invest in me this time? <laughs> of course. I'll have my assistant get in touch with you. That's great! Did you hear that? I'm finally getting an investment from Mr. Musa! I know I haven't been roaming Sandrock for long, but I can already sense the abundant joy and ex You're like the leading character in a musical, always overcoming seemingly insurmountable obstacles and bringing about mirrors. I'm convinced that education in Sandrock will soar in no time. I've always believed that education is a wealth that no one can ever rob us of, and I trust that the people of Sandrock will continue to pass down this spiritual treasure from one generation to another. Once, I was just a plain old teacher, but now, thanks to you, I feel compelled by a sense of purpose. You are the pride and joy of Sandrock. The incandescent gem of Eufaula once again shines bright, and that's all thanks to you. Thanks, it's real. I'm not an actor. See ya! again for convincing me to invite Master Verna. I don't know why I was having such cold feet about it. You know, I really feel like I should say thank you. I know I say that all the time whenever you help me out around town, but this time, I mean, thank you for everything. Master Verna could maybe use a bit more bedside manner, but she wasn't wrong. I don't think my dream of making Sandrock a better place for my friends and family to live never would have had a ghost of a chance without you. Granted, I didn't really know what I was up against when I moved back here. But you made all the difference. So yeah, from me and on behalf of everyone in Sandra, thank you. See ya.
So long, partner. early for this party the first time in my life i know what it's like to be on time those five minutes before other people started showing up were brutal though i gotta say i just kind of stood there looked around a bit said hi to one of the cats but uh yeah i think you definitely played a part in getting me to turn my life around well, maybe turn around is a bit of an overstatement, but I went from being a block of wood to a, an unoffensively average member of society. Big ups. So I want you to know that whenever I leave the window open and the breeze gently creeps in to whistle across my carpentry, I always hear your name whispering through the knot holes. There will be times when the wind and the waves will be braved, and when the cloud sails will be lifted, the sea will be shaken. Some ships sink only leagues from the shore, but thousands of vessels should one day sail to and from all the wreckage. Flowers wilt, but new buds bloom just behind them. It has been my honor to sink so that others could swim. This gift is great. Thank Understanding how the process happened naturally, and then replicating it. So, there's this stuff called Biocross. Open an act for Luna. I said, sure.
Thank you. Everything's changed so much since you've arrived. For the better, of course. I guess seeing all these important people here to congratulate us, it certainly is a new era for this town. Don't let all this praise and attention change you. Not that I think it would. Just keep being you. I would ask that you promise me that. Because that you is the most wonderful person I've ever met. Congratulations again on all your success. Thanks. I wrote letters to her containing less than the highest of praises, only because you'd just gotten started on your journey to rebuild this town. At this point, if anyone who prints a single word dissing Sandrock, well, I hope the Redditor gives them a serious talking to. My only regret in being here to see you revitalize Sandrock is that I fear my hand will never pen such poetry that is you striking with a pick hammer. But of course, that'll never stop me from trying. Oh, thank you. speaking at events like these. It's a chance for me to give back to the community and meet some tenacious young up-and-comers whose resumes I can file into the back of my mind. Shotgun. Now, that lady is up there floating around in space. They wanted us to be the opening act for Luna. I said, sure. In a sand rock. It's nice to be in Sandrock without any pressing business to take care of. I think this is my first time here as a tourist.
love it. I love it. happy people they're here to celebrate what you and your friends did you should be proud But with this one simple piece of advice, I turn by life, which brings me to my next point. How to move on after being backstabbed. And don't go around believing everything you read. And certainly don't base a religion. And the funniest part is, the company employee handbook wasn't even written at never. And I mean never build a doom train out of this. I used to be a lot like
Luna, Luna, Luna. Look up at the sky. You can't help but wish as the stars pass you by. In ocean of wonder, we're standing under. Won't you answer why? I still believe completely that our hearts were meant to sing. And in my dreams, you're dreaming next to me. I always kind of felt like, but lately, so yeah, and I'll just try to be good at everything. Thank you for watching. If you like this, like, comment, subscribe for more, or catch me live on my Twitch.